It's an all too familiar story, tearing apart communities and devastating families. Mass shootings, 130 in this year alone, including the rampage at a Christian school in Nashville, leaving six victims dead, including three nine-year-olds. But on Capitol Hill, little has changed. So why not limit the to AR-15s? Why not, why not put a ban on that? If you're going to talk about the AR-15, you're talking politics now. Let's not get into politics. What about banning those weapons that were used in attacks like these? I, I'm certain that, that politics will wave into everything, but right now I'm not focused on the politics of the situation. I'm focused on the families. Even Andy Ogles, whose district includes the Covenant School in Nashville, is a longtime supporter of access to high-powered weapons. Why not ban AR-15s? Why not talk about the real issue facing this country in regards to the shooting, which would be mental health? Yeah, the first thing in any kind of tragedy I do is, as I pray, I pray for the victims, pray for their families. Uh, I, I, I really get angry when I see people trying to politicize it for their own personal agenda, especially when we don't even know the facts. There are facts coming out. It looks like the shooter originally went to another school that uh, had real stronger, much stronger security and ultimately went to this school. Let's get the facts. What's up, everybody? Major retired Richard Ojeda here. And in the aftermath of the latest deadly school shooting, Republicans in the House of Representatives call for what else? Thoughts and prayers. Their official response to Monday's mass shooting at a private Christian school in Nashville made the NRA proud. Taking guns away is not the answer. The three children and three staffers that were shot and killed haven't even been laid to rest before Stephen Scalise kowtowed and showed why he's earned an A-plus rating by the NRA. Let's, let's work to see if there's something that we can do to help secure schools. We've talked about things that we can do and it just seems like on the other side all they want to do is take guns away from law-abiding citizens before they even know the facts the first thing they talk about is taking guns away from law-abiding citizens uh... and that's not the answer by the way so why don't we number one keep those families in our prayers and see if there were things that were missed along the way we've talked about the need to improve mental health uh... in this country and that's been a driver of a lot of these shootings as well Ever since Republicans ended the national assault weapon ban in the early 2000s, mass shootings have become an almost everyday occurrence. According to the K-12 school shooting database, in the first three months of 2023, 89 shootings have impacted school campuses. But one thing that we all need to remember is that kids of these rich but Republican politicians don't go to school with our kids. Their kids get to go to private schools with metal detectors and security. Their kids get to learn real history. Their kids get the best of the best. And the reason is simple. They want your kids to work for their kids. They are busy making their kids the future leadership of America. Your kids are not important to them. Scalise channeled his best Jimmy Swagger impersonation and called for prayer. It looked like Scalise wanted to cry like the disgraced televangelist as well to try and emphasize the conviction of his idiotic stance. It's, it's a horrible, horrible situation. And we're not going to fix it. Criminals are going to be criminals, and my daddy fought in the Second World War, fought in the Pacific, fought the Japanese, and he told me, he said, buddy, he said, if somebody wants to take you out and doesn't mind losing their life, there's not a whole heck of a lot you can do about it. This country is sick of your thoughts and prayers. We lead the world in school shootings and paid off politicians, and that's not a figure to be proud of. Why can't the Republicans in Congress do the right thing by the people of this country? How many of our children have to be killed before sensible gun measures are put in place? The soul of this nation is being sold out by coward Republicans who get their pockets lined by special interest groups like the NRA. They sure weren't ashamed of their AR-15 lapel pins, though, were they? The GOP leadership are sellouts. Calls for prayers are an insult to the memories of every single child who's lost their life in the classroom. It's unacceptable, but it shows who the Republicans have at the top of their list, and it's not your children, and that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.